Hey guys, this is Dolby from uh, Chew Who Survival, and uh, just up in the woods today, playing around a little bit. Um, don't have a whole lot with me today, didn't come that prepared, but just want to share a couple of tools, uh, a couple of pieces that, that I like. Uh, right now, my favorite fixed blade is this uh, Becker BK2 by K-Bar. Um, <clears throat> the sheath is decent, it's a little bit... I'm not too fond of how soft it is here and how uh, how wide the hole is um, as far as the belt loop is concerned, but whatever, I'll get over that. Uh, might actually have a, a sheath made, a leather sheath, custom made for this knife, but this knife is badass though. This knife is like literally, it's a quarter inch thick. Um, it weighs a pound and it's, it's seriously, it's just... It's a destroyer. Um, the pommel on this thing, you can just you can pretty much mash through whatever you want. Use it as a as a hammer, hammer nails in, or just break shit, whatever you want. Um, the blade actually, when uh, when I got it, comes out of the box, and uh, definitely shaving sharp. I took the hair off my forearm, no problem. I read a little bit about it. Uh, I read that it might have been a little bit on the dull side. Um, what do I care? This thing gets the job done, and uh, it's been carving this uh, this stick up pretty well. Um, I haven't really done any batoning with it yet. I will do that in uh, in a video to come uh, very soon. But for right now, just kind of playing around with it. This came with a uh, hard plastic uh, black handles, uh, and uh, my boy Buckley, he sent me uh, for my birthday. He sent me over these these micarta handles. And uh, these things are sick. Um, much better grip, much better control um, with moisture if your hands are sweating or if it starts raining. But yeah, this knife is um, definitely, it's literally a, a sharp crowbar. Um, no joke. I mean, you feel this bad boy in your hand, you know you got something. This thing is the real deal. And uh, so anyway, um, as, far as, as far as whittling or, you know, carving down, this wood here it's it's really I'm not I'm not putting that much effort into this at all and it's just kind of going through the the wood like butter now you got a little razor sharp <laughs> little stick whatever marshmallows stabbing some boar whatever you need right anyway um, <clears throat> my favorite lock back right now is this uh, this Crawford Casper um, CRKT makes this guy and uh, very solid lockback. I think roughly 55 60 bucks, but I got mine on sale at uh, Big Five and for about 19 95 And this thing is no joke, it's my favorite uh, walk around folder right now. Um, it's actually fairly heavy duty itself, very thick. Um, it's I chose the, uh, the half serrated one. Just in case I needed to get through some canvas or cut some rope or whatever, it's a little bit easier uh, with the serration to get through stuff like that. Um, this combination is personally my favorite right now, the the Becker BK2. As far as my my sturdy fixed blade, survival knife, all around everything knife, crowbar, whatever, and then this guy here, the Crawford Casper, very solid uh, serrations, very nice, super sharp, um, also. Uh, was shaving my hair with this guy out of the box. Um, it's got a little bit of a, a safety roller lock here on the back. And that's nice. Press that guy up in case you're really uh, whacking away at stuff and just really mashing. Um, it's not going to come undone even if your thumb kind of bumps into this trigger release here. So you have to take that take that down, close it up. Um, yeah, uh, so let's uh, let's see how this guy does on the wood and this hard pine or something like that I don't know what it is uh, it's pretty cold out here right now and so the wood is not necessarily the easiest thing uh, to cut into but we'll give it a shot this is the Casper so obviously I don't have as much weight in my hand now as the Becker BK2 but I gotta tell you this thing is uh, not really having much of a problem going through this wood 
either. So that's good to know. Yeah. Boom, cutting big chunks off. Casper, Crawford Casper, solid. CRKT, Becker, BK2. I like this guy. Buckley, thanks again for the my card handles, solid. Uh, one more tool uh, play around with here. This is also by uh, CRKT. It's called the Eaton Tool. Oh, yeah. So it's just a spork. You got a spoon, you got a fork. Got a bottle opener. You got apparently these little wrenches in here. Whatever they're there, cool. Little mini carabiner. Uh, the hole in the center, I guess, just to get a better grip or something like that when you're popping bottles. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I probably just brought this up here today to uh, have an excuse to open this beer. Oh, yeah. I don't have any chew high with me right now, so uh, we'll go ahead and use a Corona, but. Let's get this guy in here, pop the top, and uh, boom, chuha. So anyway, a couple of fun tools. I'll be back at you guys soon with uh, some more videos. We'll do some batoning with a BK2. Um, can't wait to try that. I've seen a lot of wonder wonderful, very inspirational videos out there of uh, a lot of people just doing some great work with that. And, uh, yeah, man, all you guys out there, survivalists, uh, uh, thank you for inspiring us. Um, we're beginners trying this out, having fun, but we love the mountains and love playing around with blades. So we just figured we'd, we'd start somewhere and, and get a little bit better at this. So my favorite combination right now, BK2 and this Crawford Casper as far as a folder. Nice little eating tool, cracking some beers. Chew high. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Again, this is Dolby from Chuhu Survival. Take care. Chuhu.